you know, it's sometimes amazingly over over a span of 40 or more years, it's really sometimes difficult uh, to keep being creative, to keep trying to invent new things, to keep trying to do different things. And um, at different times, I, I feel like I, I've tried to find where my comfort zone is, and then I try to stay out of it. It's, it's, um, it's difficult to, to try to keep experimenting, and a lot, of, a lot of my experiments nobody ever sees because they crash and burn. They're just terrible <laughs> or ugly or don't work at all. One of the most helpful things towards creativity for me has always been being totally bored. That is, that I'd be making uh, uh, wine goblets and I'd make them day after day after day and eventually I'd just be so bored of making them that I'd try something different or I'd try something just crazy and or twisting the stem or doing something different or blowing another shape and um, so for me being bored and being miserable and hating what I do really helps. It, it's funny the tools that I use are very interesting they are truly ancient. Um, if somebody came here from and just woke up in in my studio who had blown glass 2,000 years ago they would be able to sit at my bench and pick up and understand what every single tool did and how to use every single tool um, that the, the tools of my trade have remained essentially unchanged for thousands of years um, Somebody coming from uh, ancient Egypt might not understand the stereo or the electric light or, or the, uh, the iPod that we listen to music on, but, but they'd understand all the tools. I melt glass. I take sand, uh, something to help the sand melt, sand, soda ash, and lime that stabilizes the glass, and I add those three materials together. And uh, it looks like, it looks like uh, white dust or, or sandy dust when I throw it in my furnace and magically after you add uh, 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit of temperature it, it becomes this lovely amazing luscious liquid molten glass. Do I have a favorite piece? Um, you know I do. Um, it's like saying do I have a favorite child out of a bunch of children. You know I've got a lot of favorite pieces and and the funny, interesting thing is that somebody can bring me a piece that I haven't seen for 20 years, and and they'll they'll say, "What? When did you do this?" And I won't remember the exact year or the month, but I'll remember the season, and I'll remember <clears throat> kind of what I was thinking about at that time, and I'll remember uh, all kinds of bizarre little things like uh, I don't know how my studio was set up at the time. It's kind of like. Um, each piece, every single one I've done, I remember them, and and you wouldn't think that'd be possible uh, if you, as I have, made them for a long time, and I've made a lot of work over that time. We're, we're going to take a first a gather of red glass, then we're going to melt silver on that red glass, and then I'm going to gather clear glass over the red, and then I'm going to blow it out to make a, a Christmas ornament. I'll bring it over here. And I'll crack it off. I'll break it off, and then Tucker's going to bring me a little hook that I'll put on, and then we'll put it away. So it's Christmas time. We're making ornaments. We should be listening to uh, Christmas carols right now.